visit svgcuts.com slash blog for tons of free SVGs, video tutorials, inspirational ideas, and the lowest price on Sure Cuts A Lot software. All right, so let's go ahead and discuss the path section here in Sure Cuts A Lot 2. I'm going to show you how to use all of these different features, okay? The first one we're going to talk about is union, okay? So as it suggests, what we're going to do is we're going to take two objects and unite them. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and select the newborn shape library, okay? Just to change it up a little bit. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a strip of onesies, okay? So we can click on a onesie here, and I'm going to make it about this big. And I'm going to rotate it like that. Okay, now I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to go to Edit, Copy, and then I'm going to Paste. Okay, so now I've got two of these. But now I'm going to take this one and rotate it this way. Okay, so now I'm going to overlap them. Okay, so now I'm going to take one more, and instead of going to Edit and hitting Copy there, as long as I have it highlighted, I can right-click and go to Copy, and then I can go ahead and Paste. Okay, so that's that. Okay, it looks like maybe I want to just not angle it as much. Okay, so there we go. We've got a little strip going here. Okay, I'm going to put this one back, just using the rotation tool there. Now, as we've discussed in a previous tutorial, you can highlight all of these and weld them, and they will cut as one solid piece. Well, let's say that you want to permanently make them one solid piece. Welding simply allows you to cut them as one solid piece, but it keeps all of the individual items separated. Let me show you what I mean. I can highlight this and click Weld. I can highlight this one and click Weld. And I can highlight this one and click Weld. And now you'll notice when we preview it, you'll see that it cuts as one object, okay? Even though it cuts as one object, we still have the option of editing and manipulating these as separate elements. Okay, now what the path union option is going to allow us to do, and I'll show you here, I'm going to highlight them all by dragging a box around them, and I'm going to go to path, and I'm going to click union. So take a look at what just happened. Before we applied the path union option, this is what it looked like, okay? You can see that these are the areas that are overlapping here, okay, in red. Now, if I take it again, I highlight them all, and I go to Path, and I click Union, you'll notice that those overlapping areas disappear, and now we've got one solid shape, okay? We've basically taken all three of these elements and combined them into one element. And now you'll notice if we look at the preview that we've got one solid cut, and these little gray areas are gone because that overlapping region is gone as well. So this is one element now, okay? So that's what the union allows you to do. It allows you to take any objects that are overlapping and convert them into one solid object. So let me show you another example. We can take the teddy bears here, okay? And you can do this with two, you can do this with three, four, five, six, seven, as many elements as you can fit on the mat and highlight at the same time. Okay, so now check this out. Okay, so you can see that they're overlapping. Now, if they're not overlapping, it won't fuse them together, but it'll still make them one element. Here, take a look at what I mean. Okay, I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to go to Path and Union. So no matter which one of these I click on, it will highlight both elements, okay? That doesn't mean that they're welded or fused together. It just means that they're one element. Okay, so let me undo that. And you can do that by going to Edit, Undo, or clicking on Control Z on your keyboard. Now, if I take this one and overlap it, and you can see the overlapping here in this darker red area, highlight both of these, and then go to Path and click Union you can see that that overlapping is gone, and now we've got one element that is fused together, okay? 
So basically the difference is when you weld, you are creating a fused object, but you're still allowed to manipulate them individually as separate entities. But here, using the path union option, you're basically fusing them together permanently. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that. And again, this works with text and shapes or SVG files. So I can type baby, okay, and I can make it bigger. Okay, and then let's say we want to take and put a onesie on the corner of uh, the B here on top. So we can highlight this whole thing, go to path and click union, and there you go, you've got the onesie attached to the B in the word baby. Now that's not super creative, but it gets the point across. It shows you the potential that you have with this union feature. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. I'm going to highlight it and click delete on my keyboard. Okay, now the next option under the path menu here is intersection. Okay, now let me show you what that does. I'm going to click on the basic shapes library here. Okay, I'm going to put a circle on my mat. And then I'm going to take another circle, make it about this big, and I'm going to overlap these. Okay, now check out the shapes that we can make here. You see the overlapping part here in the darker red? Well, if we highlight both of these and go to Path, Intersection, it basically will only keep the intersected part. Okay, so let me undo that. Now let me show you that again. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger and go over a little bit more. I'm going to highlight both of these. Go to Path, Intersection. Okay, now the Intersection option will only work with two items. Okay, if we try to add a third one, okay, we put it here and we highlight all three and go to Path. It's not even available anymore. Okay, so the Union will work with all three. So you can make really cool looking shapes. Um, that almost looks like a little thought bubble or a speech bubble. Let me show you here. You can make that like that. Make this one a little bit smaller. Make this one even smaller. And let's add one more circle. Okay. And then we can drag a box around them to select them all. Or we can right click on our mat and go to select all. And we can go to path and click union. And there you go. You got a little, little thought bubble there. The possibilities are pretty much endless with this union option.